Howdy, 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 my beautiful Virgo. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading, Virgo, for April 2022. So if you enjoy this tarot reading today, be sure to check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign, Virgo, to get the full spectrum of what's going down in your life in specific. As well, Virgo, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you enjoy this tarot reading today. So let's see what's going on with you, Virgo. Let's see what's good, what's popping with you, honey. All right, we have the Five of Cups coming in here, the Justice energy stepping forward here, Virgo and then we have the sun card coming in here okay darling back of the deck we got going on is the devil energy coming in here and then your overall energy here virgo is seemingly to be the justice energy once again darling so strong libra energy coming in here not that it has re any relevance but justice energy is associated with uh libran uh, as well as the devil energy being the uh, um capricorn and then the sun card i believe is either aries or leo i don't remember which off the top of my head regardless uh, uh <laughs> virgo let's get into this here for you guys all right I feel like justice is really coming in with a situation of someone that did you wrong here, all right? When I see this Five of Cups energy here, it's like something that you haven't been able to get uh, to move on from here because it's just like, because of just like how much of an injustice there was here. You felt as if, um, it's like you're asking the question, Virgo, being like, how are they able to, how, were, how have they been able to get away with this, right? And so that's really what's bothered you, Virgo. I don't feel as if it's bothered you in the sense too much where it's just like oh they really have like uh hurt my life or impacted my life here but justice seems to be what what it is for you it's like it's in the name of justice of, of in the name of being like what's right is right here and what they did here is they messed up and i feel like you want like you expect this energy to be held accountable here and for whatever the reason is they're not being held accountable i will say though with this energy coming in here and with the double justice here, this is a very good sign for you, uh, Virgo, because this is letting me know personally that, you know, in regards to the law, Virgo, if you're dealing with some type of law case, honey, then it's going to be definitely working in your favor. But some type of injustice, whoever wronged you, whoever hurt you, Virgo, they're going to be getting their just desserts really soon. So be paying attention in the coming days where I go about, you know, how, you know, whether this, I feel like for some of you guys, it's like a work situation. Like you're really upset about how the business has worked, you know, how your manager, how the business, how the company handled you or been mistreating you or someone in that workplace there, or just some type of personal dynamic right uh virgo i feel as if you're going to be hearing seeing how <laughs> situations are going to start crumbling around around them here all right we have this virgo energy virgo energy we have this hermit energy coming in here virgo as well as the five of pentacles i feel as if you really like this gives me like a situation of where it's like the just like the injustice that happened was like it's like they made you feel insecure about yourself and then they just left you out to your own devices virgo they kind of just left you there sitting there being like oh like i guess i'm by myself here i guess like i thought you were my friend i thought you were someone that cared about me i thought we were in this together here and in the actuality here you didn't give two craps right at least but that that's what their actions represented here, all right? I do see uh, Virgo with this five of pentacles here that you might have been internalizing this a little bit here, if we're going to be honest, right? Internalizing it a little bit and being like, you know, like, it just didn't have you feeling good, right? It didn't have you feeling good. It had you feeling as if you're lacking something here. And I feel like it took you a while, uh, Virgo, to accept the fact that it had nothing to do with you and that this situation here it's just a devil, right? That's like what it is that you ha were forced to deal with. Here it's just like people are just being, you know, crappy people are just being crappy, essentially, uh, Virgo. So let's get an energy on this devil, all right? We have the four cups coming in here. It feels as if this is someone that is very big on self-sabotaging or very much so, Virgo. It's like they will always turn a blind eye towards situations that towards like anything that will e either like hold them accountable or seeing the other side of the situation trying like it's like they have no interest in trying to understand like your perspective on the situation they were just very selfish in their way and it's like very stuck and stubborn in their ways here all right i wouldn't be surprised if this has someone that has like some strong taurus or aries, aries energy due to this extreme stubbornness here we also have the lover's energy coming in as well all right so this is definitely somebody that it's like very much so it's like it's either their way or the highway here 
Virgo. And I feel like for some of you guys, Knight of Cups energy. Mm. Now, usually, like, <laughs> you, you can quote me on this, Virgo. Any of my regulars know I never get into, like, third-party energies just because it's, like, I don't know. Like, I, that's just not my type of reading style, usually. But this is painting out to be a situation to me, Virgo, where it's, like, they started go looking elsewhere. They started, like, you know, and that might have been what caused this. I'm going to paint out a scenario here, Virgo. It's like y'all were connecting. Y'all felt good. You know, whatever the situation was. And then things to, like I feel as if like I wouldn't be surprised if you ended up being ghosted or just like things just somehow changed because I'm not seeing like a direct action here. Right. I don't see like a three of swords, ten of swords or five of wands, especially here. It just feels as if like it was just like one day like you went to sleep and then one like the next day when you woke up they're just completely gone you heard nothing from them there right and then so i feel like this like something else caught their interest here now whether this interest is like another person here or whether this is like maybe they're putting more focus in on like a job or something like that like at the very least we'll just say um virgo like some type of other energy captured their attention here and then that's like that's what's been going on with them here all right um and that took them away from you and so you know obviously it's going to be a little bit different for each one depending on if you're dating or not or what have you here now if this is in a more platonic way uh virgo i feel as if that this situation here the person that they ended up engaging with here i feel as if this is somebody that i can't help but feel as if doesn't have too fond of feelings towards you uh virgo i feel as if this is like because i'm being shown like the devil on the shoulder now it's almost as if they were saying things on this person's regard like towards this person to get them to uh react or do something in a certain type of way virgo that is something i feel intuitively all right and so you know when you look at this dynamic here with this these justice energies here it's like they end up like they ended up going to the third party situation here and then they ended up regretting it right because something's happening in that situation there that's like trouble in paradise essentially for them and they end up regretting like that they ended up leaving you in that hermit state so i wouldn't be really surprised Virgo, if they try to reach back out to you in the coming days because like in the and i feel like they're going to be trying to approach Virgo in a place to be like oh i've changed Virgo. like i'm sorry it's like they're going to make up some type of excuse and what i will be telling you virgo because again like i unless i pull like a two of cups or an ace of cups in this reading here i'm not going to sit here and confidently say he's being like oh they they were talking to other people they're talking to other people honey all right i that's just not gonna like i want to acknowledge that the cups energy represents more than just people it can represent uh, opportunities as well all right so we'll leave it at that but it's like trouble in paradise for them and they end up regretting that they abandoned you in this situation here because of this and reality is the only reason why they're trying to come back towards you virgo is because the situation that they ended up ghosting you on um is starting to turn south it's starting to turn sour in their end so that's all i'm going to say in this energy there uh virgo we'll pull two more cards here oh. okay virgo <laughs> uh, well um, okay okay <laughs> um <laughs> well i guess i got the card that i said well there's that all right trouble in paradise with them virgo um i don't really know i don't think there's really too much to say with the situation here virgo right um we just pulled the two of cups here so let's just do one more with this and then we got the five of wands all right so this is quite literally virgo like trouble in paradise they ended up leaving you high and dry here because they wanted to engage with this other energy here all right and i feel like you know i don't want to go into their energy like this third party's energy just because it's like why they don't matter they're irrelevant virgo all right so let's uh, you know maybe you can go to different territory if you want to get clearly into their perspective but this is literally painting out a scenario that this devil situation they they were tempted by the some other situation and so they ended up going over to them thinking that was gonna you know the grass is you know just that cliche like grass is greener on the other side they thought and then conflict started happening right five of wands is my least favorite card in the tarot deck uh virgo because it just represents complications obstacles and just a lot of fighting 
All right. So um, definitely, Virgo, whatever the situation is, whoever wronged you. All right. Even in a work dynamic, uh, Virgo, I feel like in a work dynamic, they brought somebody in or they didn't fight for you, Virgo. Because, and if you said that you were going to be leaving um, because they're just like, oh, yeah, like we, we don't need Virgo there. And then um, down the road, they realize how much work that you did, you know. And they end up calling you back here. Like whatever the case is, Virgo, whatever the storyline is for this, those extra details, they're only coming back to you, Virgo, because of the conflict over here. They're not coming back to you because of remorse. They're coming back to you because of this conflict and be like, ooh, well, maybe I can uh, link back up with that Virgo over here. Maybe they'll forgive me. So yeah, Virgo, don't be engaging with that Seven of Swords energy. Don't trust that energy at all. Don't engage with it there. Like leave them in the dust. Keep them blocked. All right. Block them if you haven't, but keep them blocked if uh, you have already blocked them and cut communication because it's like, you know, let karma take its course here. Justice is happening, honey. All right. Justice is definitely happening with that situation. So what are the other energies are you dealing with here? King of Wands, King of Swords coming in here with the Seven of Cups here. And then the world energy here in the back of the deck. I feel like you guys, Virgo. Um, I will be saying, all right, I'm going to be clocking some of you Virgos. You might be feeling a little bit weak in the knees, honey, all right, because you opened your heart up to the situation prior. So you're just like, eh, well, you know, this is comfortable. You already opened up to them. You don't want to have to be vulnerable with another situation. So it's easier for you just to open up to them again, right? I'm going to be honest here, Virgo, all right? Don't take this back because you're going to have so many other options, all right? You have the two different court cards, King of Wands, King of Swords coming in with that Seven of Cups. You're going to be having diff different options coming in for you here and you this is only going to be coming in if you uh, like completely block this out i feel like if you were to engage with this other energy again uh and giving this a, its 20th chance virgo this energy here is not going to be able to come in all right this energy here these options are only going to be coming forward uh towards you virgo as long as once you keep this energy blocked off so that's what i'll say on that virgo all right don't be taking this energy back just because you're afraid of being single and you don't want to be alone or you know they were like your only friend for example virgo or only family member it's like they will be replaced they will they will be replaced virgo so don't just take this energy back just because of whatever fears or anxieties that you might have all right you have the waning moon what is it that you need to release from that situation that codependency or just <laughs> literally honey just releasing them okay and then you have communication is key new moon and gemini coming in and let's do one last one luck is on your side new moon and sagittarius all right you have two different new moons coming in for your energy here so new beginnings uh be, is the representation of that here and i feel like that is like the storyline for you guys is like i feel like it's a new beginning for you guys that is uh that you guys are destined to be going into all right this is a time of good fortune and an abundance so be willing to receive all the good things in your life with that luck is on your side double energy of very strong positivity and you also have let go of your fear and know that you're safe and protected at all times here another card asking you to let go of fears letting go like just releasing letting go let this energy go here virgo because you have such good energy waiting on the other side of this door to engage with you to connect with you all right virgo so um very beautiful reading i do apologize that this reading ended up being in this type of like drama uh cliche way but um you know the cards are the cards say what they need to be saying honey all right so i love you so much Virgo. if you enjoy this tarot reading today be sure to let me know in the comments below Give this video a like and subscribe and remember virgo i only do readings through my website simplyvelka.com next to my social medias tiktok and instagram both being simply welcome all right darling so i love you so much and i hope i can connect with you sometime in the near future bye darling